Hello friends, welcome to the 42 episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode we have seen that how to use the model list and how to display record in our view as well as pagination with our simple query string. In this episode I will show you how to use the JTable and what is JTable. Because uh, if you start to uh, explain the J model admin and J model form you need the J table so I was thinking that before you start the two types of model it's better to start the J table so let's uh, start what is J table so J table that is Joomla table this is an actually ORM so what is ORM that is object relational mapping okay so where uh, we map an object to a database table and we can do our crude operation like create update delete operation without writing a single line of query jtable automatic handle this kind of things internally jtable will use the query but we don't need to specify the insert update or delete query so that's why uh, we will use the J table features. So what we have to do, like uh, for the J table, we need to create the J table classes, and where we will mention like table name as well as the primary key of the table, and later we will create the an instance of that class, that is J table class. Then we will perform all the crude operation. Okay. So our goal is, let's uh, log into the backend. So Joomla to five to slash administrator. We will perform all the operation in this page, and also I will show you the database. So localhost slash php my admin. chat so here already our uh, one table is exist so I will show all the crude operation on this table okay so now we have implemented that uh, using insert into query we are saving all the data but let's see how we can use jtable here so we have to create jtable and uh, we have to map this table name okay so what will be the jtable name that's important because let's say this is open chat message okay so we can name the jtable name that is jtable name like chat message okay name can be anything but uh, if you follow this good naming convention then it will be better okay so and the file name of the jtable will be lowercase that is chat msg dot php okay and where uh, all the because uh, in a single component there can be multiple types of jtable so uh, you have to create a tables folder in your component then you will place all the to jtable table 1 dot php table 2 dot php etc okay so we will create the chat message table okay so let's start so our component is com underscore open chat in the back end com underscore open chat here is the component and uh, i will show you all the uh, operation um, in the controller section so that you can easily see all the operation so let's start just going some text so that you can see dollar sorry j factory get application close we don't need the template output it will confuse so you can just see the output 
so let's try this in the browser so task equal to test so here we will perform all the operation and later you can use them in the model and also in future tutorial I will show you okay so we will create a chat message J table so inside this component create a folder called tables tables so I have created and inside tables we have to create a table class so let's save this chat msg dot php name can be anything now we have to create that class and which will extend the main jtable class so at first prevent direct access defined jexc or die access deny so now we will create the class so there must be some naming convention so what is the best naming convention that is controller class name as we are following in the models also the syntax model and view and table and then table class name so this convention we will follow so let's check what is the component class name sorry controller that is open chat so class open chat now the table keyword and now our class name so our file name is chat message dot php so file name chat msg you can use the study case and which will extends j table okay now I will show you where this main class is exist so that you can further read and do some R&D like in the libraries database and here you can see the table here you can see the j table extends the j object which is the master object of Joomla so here are a lot of uh, functions available so you can take a look it will improve your skill so I'm closing this so we have extend now we have to mention our table name as well as the primary key so let's start so we will mention by overriding the parent class constructor so this is our constructor and we will call the parent construct so now we will pass the this one we will pass the table name this one primary key and this one is db instance so uh, here we will get automatic one parameter Joomla will provide sorry so let's uh, give this attributes so this is the table name so we will use the prefix Joomla prefix system so table name will be has underscore underscore this one primary key our primary key is ID if you have another then you can mention here and we will pass the DB instance but later in future tutorial I will show you when you uh, will work with multiple database in a single Joomla project then uh, this area will be very useful okay so we have just mentioned this and we don't need anything so let's uh, try to create an instance of this J table so we're in the test class okay so how uh, I can create the instance so let's try to create instance so dollar table equal to J table get get instance why we are not using new because uh, Joomla is following a singleton pattern um, it has a get instance so for create object always use this one now we have to pass the parameter like uh, which uh, we want which jtable instance so here 
we have to mention like uh, the table name that is the table name is this one chat message okay so here is the table name and now we have to mention the prefix what is the prefix that is up to this one open chat table so copy this one and paste and third argument there you can pass array that I will explain later okay so let's check that bardam this dollar table let's check anything is coming or not okay so let's give the pre statement now if I refresh I'm not getting anything okay now what is the error because we are trying to create that instance but we have not included the path so we have to include it, the path so we have to tell the Joomla that where all the J tables are located so we can mention this using the J table J table add include add include path include path now we have to pass the path so where is our J tables exist like in the back end inside the components com inside tables so J path administrator ADMINSTRATOR back end inside these components and our component that is com underscore open chat and inside tables so here all the j table classes are located that's enough for joomla so let's refresh again oh i have made some mistake so if you found this error it is easy to debug so that's look six line error here probably I have used single underscore so let's check so in the chat message yeah save and now refresh so now here we can see a lot of things that means that uh, we are able to create the J table instance so thanks for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial I will show you how to perform different operation using that instance and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question or suggestion please write comment below this video thank you